we looked at how we could use virtual reality, but with an incorporated imagery component to help our athletes increase their psychological skills, increase their imagery ability, their confidence, their use of things like positive self-talk, goal setting. And we did this by videotaping our baseball players in first and third person perspective. So that involved putting goggles on their heads with the cameras and filming them and then having allowing them to watch that through a virtual reality app on their phone that they watched through goggles, virtual reality goggles, so that they could get that experience of playing baseball without actually being out on the field. And we incorporated in imagery scripts that we wrote with the players that allowed them to work on some psychological things they wanted to work on, being calm, confident, relaxed, focused, these types of things. We asked them to use it twice a day. Their videos were anywhere from three to seven minutes, so a total of 14 minutes a day to see improvement in psychological skills, which leads to improvement in performance. I just had a five minute video of me, uh, 3D videos of me batting, and also catching and I would watch those a couple times a day and just kind of go through at bats and uh, defensive situations in my mind and the goal just to improve confidence and be comfortable on the field. It definitely helped me to just uh, kind of go through those situations in my head so that when I got to the field it was I've, I've been there before and so that's really it just it just makes you feel comfortable. We were really interested in how this could help People who maybe don't have great imagery ability to start increase their imagery ability because imagery ability can lead to performance change and also other psychological skills. And we know from all the research within the field of sports psychology how powerful mental skills are for performance. I think it did. Um, it's definitely something that you need to supplement with. It doesn't replace practice, but I think it absolutely helped me with just feeling comfortable in the box and feeling confident and being able to be consistent. We are currently working and have two internal grants working with the School of Medicine in Springfield, looking at how we can use imagery-assisted virtual reality to help geriatric patients overcoming the recovery process of knee surgery. And we certainly see several different ways we can apply that within the medical community. Within the sort of field right now of virtual reality, they're using it in employee training, within the military, all sorts of areas. And there's a real place to add that imagery component to help the psychological skills when it comes to those physical components they're looking at right now as well.